Is an atrophied monk with no eyelids really a symbol for good luck? Everybody, especially writers, please watch to the end. This is called a daruma. Daruma come in several colors and are used for seeking good luck in business, school, relationships, health, etc. The most popular one is a red one. It's an all-purpose charm and has been around the longest. As you can see with on this picture, it has no eyes. This is due to the monk, which the doll is meant to honor. Bodhidharma was a Buddhist monk from India who spread what we refer to as Zen Buddhism to China. His teachings eventually reached Japan and became popular with samurai. The doll has no eyes owing to a legend that the monk spent nine years staring at a wall practicing meditation. Unfortunately, he fell asleep in year seven. To make sure it never happened again, he removed his eyelids, throwing them to the ground where they grew into tea plants. During the nine years of meditation, his arms and legs atrophied from lack of use, making him resemble the shape shown in the doll. The Dalama has been around in some form since the 12th century, but the talisman we know today appeared in the 17th century. It's got a heavy bottom to keep it from tumbling over. And a lot of times it has a good luck kanji underneath the face. So how does it work? When we get a dharma, we set a goal for ourselves and then blacken one eye, traditionally the left. Once the goal is met, we blacken the other eye and celebrate. The practice of drawing eyes on it arose because of a smallpox ep epidemic during the Edo period, 1603 to 1868, as smallpox can cause one to go blind. Even though the Dharma is a good luck talisman, it does not fulfill your wish. Instead, you blacken one eye and then set it in a place in your home or business to remind you to persevere towards your goal. There are two things to remember. Dharma are like Padawans. You can only have one at a time. If you do not reach the goal within a year, you are supposed to return to the Buddhist temple where you bought the Dharma, burn it, and get another one. I don't know what you're supposed to do if you buy them in a store. This is a completed Dharma, and I admit I broke rule number two. I had it longer than a year. But I still remember the joy I had the day I blackened its other eye, the day I became a published author. If you like my stories, please like, share, and follow me. And if you like works for the Japanese setting, please go to my profile link and check out where you can purchase my books.